Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos. In our last video, we started to look at using the Codica editor to rapid prototype a uh, mobile mobile project using jQuery Mobile. Now, we explored the different types of widgets that we can use in Codica, and we saw that the code is fully downloadable and edited, editable. Now, before we get into starting to design our project and figuring out how it's going to function and all of that, we really should always step back, take a moment to step back and plan what sort of project we we want to end up with. Now for the for the sake of this class, I'm going to recommend that you create a project either um, for a fictional business or a real business, your own business perhaps, or maybe even like an autobiographical uh, project. Uh, you want to have some sort of goal that you're applying to create, that you're using to create uh, our project. So I'll give you an example of what you can strive toward, which you'll be able to accomplish in this class. So before jumping in and starting to use Kodika Editor, instead visit this this um, this site. Uh, it's vmcampos.com/sdce. This works best if you go to the site on your mobile device, so your iPhone or Android or, or whatever, go to it, go to that address in your web browser on your mobile device and you'll see this mobile optimized um, uh, web project. This is all done in jQuery mobile, HTML5, etc. You should look familiar. I can go, this is going to be a, a fake version of the college's website, a mobile version, let's say, and I can go to the art section cool transition there and then click to open the different pages in the art section photography class these are all fake classes don't look for them in the catalog I can go to the computer section we've got a transition again and then we can uh, see basic intermediate advanced classes with dividers we can click on a particular class. The screen, screen swipes over. We continue to see more content. This can be anything. In, the, in our case, it's just text. Back. Swipes back. You can then look at advanced classes. And then back. On the home page, if we go back, there's also a little info button. Tap that. A pop-up happens. Let me close that. See how the screen fades out. A pop-up fades in. We're going to do that. And then uh, the last piece of the puzzle is we want to create a um, directions uh, feature so that anyone out and about and wants to visit the main uh, administrative offices of the campus can always click on directions your particular uh, device should ask you for permission to tap into your GPS location. Uh, so I'm on a desktop browser, we don't exactly see it, but on a mobile device it should, it should ask for your location and if you click to share it should then zero in on your location. We're pretty approximate. And then it makes a Google map. This one is better than the one that we see in Kodika because it's actually interactive. You can click and drag, and it's a real live map. You can even zoom in, zoom out, and even do the street view. You can drag the little guy, get into street view, and all of this works on your mobile device. Close that to go back. Now, because I am not on a mobile device in this demo, it defaults to downtown San Diego. But on your mobile device, it should kind of find your location. And the point of this is that then a person could tap Get Directions, and it'll give us a real Google map that gives us directions from our current location to the San Diego Continuing Education Administrative Offices. And again, it's a live map. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. And then you've got turn-by-turn -turn directions from your current location to a destination of 4343 Ocean View Boulevard, turn-by-turns. 
tells you the distance, driving time, etc. It's not going to be the full featured voice turn by turn directions with a computer telling you turn left here, drive one half mile there, but it will give you a map, directions, and imagine using this for your own projects, your own company, so that people can come to your physical location. That's what we'll be doing. And then I can go back, takes me back to the home page. So this is what our goal is going to be in this class. This is an HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, jQuery mobile based uh, mobile website. It's live, it's on a server, and in the class we will we will strive to create this based on the Codica rapid prototyping tool, which just writes uh, which just writes uh, HTML5 and jQuery code for us so that we don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. So come back on the next video and we're going to take our, our goal from, uh, from uh, conception to completion.